hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this second video of golden rules of accounting we are going to solve this question from ca foundation study material illustration 5 here we have 15 transactions we have to record them by passing their journal entries according to the golden rules of accounting okay where we have personal account real account nominal account and then the rules for them right we have seen and understood everything in the previous video of this topic right so if you haven't watched that video then please make sure you have watched that video see here we have discussed each and everything in very much detail isn't it yes and we have taken an example over there as well from the ca foundation study material only yeah these five transactions and we have seen how to identify in which category they fall yeah their nature and then how we are going to use the rules and pass the journal entry everything we have seen so if you haven't watched the video please please watch the first video then only you'll be able to understand each and everything in detail okay now see here we have the question illustration 5 from the ca foundation study material and the chapter is journal entries and in this question here we have got compound journal entries now what are these compound journal entries it's really simple compound journal entries are the journal entries where multiple accounts are getting debited or multiple accounts are getting credited is that clear when this can happen when you record multiple transaction with just one journal entry in that case you know there will be multiple debits or multiple credits or maybe there can be a transaction which will impact multiple accounts more than two accounts in that case also there will be multiple debits or multiple credits is that clear okay fine understood let's just read this see here generalize the following transactions okay also state the nature of each account involved in the journal entry so you also need to tell them you know what kind of nature the account has okay you read the transaction you understood there are two accounts involved in that transaction you have to mention you know what is the nature of the account is it real account personal account nominal account okay is that clear yeah so that's what they are asking and then they have told us that following figures are given in hundreds what does that mean see it means that see here here there is 2000 actually this is not 2000 just to simplify the calculation and everything for presentation purpose they have written over here 2000 actually this is 200,000 or 2 lakhs okay when you read this you can't read this as 2000 you have to read this as 2 lakhs but don't worry uh, right now in this video to solve everything and all we'll just read this 2000 only but actually it's not 2000 it's 2 lakhs is that clear because these these two zeros you have to add over there okay at the last is it clear here also it's not uh, what do you say 15000 it's 15 lakhs is that clear okay fine so let's just pass the general entries now now see here we have the solution so we have to pass the journal entries in the journal book okay so see the format of journal consists of five columns first we have the date column and then the particulars column and then we have ledger folio what is ledger folio ledger folio is nothing but just a page number of the ledger book whatever you debit or credit over here those are accounts right so where are those accounts located in the ledger so on what page that will be mentioned over here okay ledger folio is that clear simple and then we have debit column and then credit column where you will be taking the amounts you are debiting or crediting fine and then as you can see here we have this extra column over here this is based on the question question has asked that they need to know what's the nature of the account that's why we have taken it over there and this is just a serial number is that clear fine and then this journal is in the books of Ajit yeah in the accounting books of Ajit. Ajit is the owner of the business. If you will read the first transaction, then you will come to know. See here, first transaction, December 1st, 2022. Ajit started business with capital 4 lakh. Okay. So Ajit is the owner. So that's why we have taken over here in the books of Ajit. And you have to understand in the books of Ajit, Ajit account will never come. Okay. Ajit name, Ajit account will never come. Okay. Because Ajit is the owner. So you will take what? capital account okay capital account will be the representative of the owner is it clear and drawings account whenever owner will contribute into the business we'll say capital whenever owner withdraws anything from the business we'll say drawings is that clear okay fine so let's start with the first transaction see here the first transaction 
Ajit started business with capital 4 lakh. So tell me which two accounts are involved over here? Ajit has provided capital into his business. So obviously Ajit has deposited the money into the bank account, right? So bank account is involved over here. And Ajit has provided the capital, the owner. Owner is represented by capital account, you all know, right? So these two accounts are involved in this transaction. Which two accounts? Bank account and capital account. Now tell me in which category does these accounts fall? Is, you know, capital account a real account? No, it's not an asset. Is it an expense or income? No, it can't be nominal account. So which account is it? It is a personal account. Why? Because it, you know, represents the owner. Is that clear? So Ajit has, you know, given the money, right? Credit the giver. We have to credit the Ajit account, but we can't take Ajit name. We have to take the name of capital account, right? So capital account will be credited. Is that clear? Simple. And then bank account. What has happened with the bank account? Ajit deposited the money into the bank account, right? As the, you know, money of the business, right? So bank has received the money, isn't it? Bank is a personal account, isn't it? How bank is a personal account? Because bank is related with the persons, right? Bank organization, bank business, yeah, banking company is what? Is an artificial person created by law and bank account is related with them, isn't it? So bank account is a personal account. So personal account rule is applicable over here right and bank has you know received the money so bank is the receiver debit the receiver okay so general entry would be bank account debit to capital account is it clear debit the receiver credit the giver both are personal account so both of those rules were applicable see here bank account debit to capital account four lakh four lakh is that clear both are personal account and then you have to write narration below the entry in the brackets see here you have to write this in your own words in simple english whatever has happened in the transaction whatever you understand just write over there don't try to memorize and all okay here you can say being business started with uh, you know four lakh capital right that's how you can write being commencement of business with capital yeah anything you can write is it clear okay first transaction is over second transaction december 3rd he withdrew cash for business from the bank 2000 okay so what's happening over here ajit has taken out the money from the bank account okay so withdrawal from the bank is happening by the owner now you have to understand is it for business use or personal use read it again he withdrew cash for business it is for business use that means it's a normal withdrawal owner is not taking the money to his home okay it's not personal use you cannot use drawings account over here no 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 owner is not taking the money out of the business no money is inside the business only it's just it has been taken out of the bank to the drawer of the business exactly a cash drawer of the business so what is happening over here in business cash is coming right so cash account is involved over here and then bank account is also involved because bank balance is decreasing isn't it yeah so let's see bank account is there cash account is there cash is an asset it's a real account yeah it falls in the real account category okay what's the rule of real account debit what comes in credit what goes out so what is happening to this cash cash is coming into the business so we'll have to debit that debit what comes in okay fine understood then bank account bank balance decrease right bank gave this money yeah, bank was the giver over here. Bank is a personal account and bank was the giver. Who gave the cash? Bank gave the cash, right? ATM machine or the bank. Yeah, bank gave the cash. So you will credit the bank account. Credit the giver. Is that clear? So entry would be cash account debit to bank account. Okay, cash account debit to bank account. Cash is a real account. Bank is personal account. 2000, 2000. Is it clear? Actually, this is not 2000. It's 2 lakhs actually. Okay, see here in in hundreds it's written over here so this is for the entire columns is that clear okay fine then you have to write the narration being cash withdrawn from the bank just write the being word and then whatever comes to your mind is that clear okay fine second transaction over in the next transaction third transaction see here on 5th December he purchased goods by making payment through bank 15,000 rupees okay so purchase goods means obviously purchase account is involved now tell me in which category does the purchase account fall 
purchase account is an expense so it will obviously fall in the nominal account yeah in nominal account we take all the expenses and incomes what do we do with expenses we debit all expenses and losses right so purchase account is an expense we have to debit purchase account final is that clear simple then uh what else he purchased goods by making payment through the bank so bank account is also involved bank account you know it's a personal account right so what's happening over here bank balance is decreasing bank is making the payment yeah money is given by bank right owner purchased the goods purchase account is involved then he has to make the payment now so he made the payment through the bank so bank gave the money is that clear that's how you have to think in the golden rules so personal account category bank account credit the giver this rule is applicable credit the giver because bank is giving the money so bank account will be credited is that clear so entry would be what purchase account to bank okay december 5 purchase account to bank okay purchase account nominal account expense yeah so we'll debit that 15000 and then bank is a personal account bank is giving the money to the supplier right so that's what happened and then ration being goods purchased for cash is that clear easy next transaction next is the fourth transaction on 8th of december he sold goods for 16000 and received payment through bank now see here sold goods sold goods means sales account will come into the picture okay sales account sales account is an income account right revenue or income account and that comes under which category it comes under nominal account category what do we do with incomes we credit all incomes and gains yeah sales account is an income account so we have to credit always sales account will be credited and purchase account will be debited is that clear so sales account will be credited final for 16000 okay we'll credit the sales account by 16000 and received payment through bank again bank account is involved bank is the receiver over here okay bank is receiving the money so personal account rule debit the receiver so bank account will be debited sales account credited and bank account debited is that clear so entry would be bank account debit to sales okay this is a simple cash sales entry okay the sales is made directly okay not on credit on cash fine money is directly received immediately so bank account debit to sales account is it clear bank account is personal account yeah bank was the receiver so we debited the receiver and sales account is a nominal account income account we always credit all incomes fine 16000 16000 is it clear being goods sold for cash clear easy next transaction on 10th of december on 10th of december he purchased furniture and paid by check 2500 so here what's happening purchase furniture can we use purchases account over here you have to understand this okay whenever they say goods then only you can use you know purchases account goods means the items which are meant for resale only that will come under purchases account here furniture has been purchased that means that furniture will be used in the business okay this is not a what do you say a dealer of furniture and all no it's a normal business furniture will be used in the business if this was a furniture business and they had purchased furniture then here they would have given he purchased goods only because furniture is his normal inventory yeah normal goods that's why but here they are saying furniture which means you have to understand it is to be used in the business is that clear so you can't use purchase account you will use furniture account an asset to be used in the business so furniture account is involved over here now this furniture account falls in which category you all know all tangible and intangible asset fall in which category real accounts category so debit what comes in and credit what goes out so furniture is coming into the business you will have to debit the furniture account is it clear okay so furniture account will be debited easy and then paid by check paid by check means bank account is involved over here okay so bank is giving the money yeah bank is the giver over here isn't it we got the furniture and bank was the giver bank is personal account credit the giver okay so bank account will be credited is that clear furniture account debit to bank account yeah furniture is a real account debit what comes in we debited furniture account bank account is a personal account bank was the giver of the money right bank was the giver so we credited to the bank account 2500 2500 being furniture purchased is it clear simple next transaction on 12 december 
he sold goods to arvind 2400 now you have to understand whenever there are purchases or sales and the names are not mentioned yeah like here he sold goods he purchased goods here it means immediate payment is happening whenever it's like this without names of the customer or supplier that means payment has happened we don't have to remember the name of our customer or supplier okay we don't have to write their names in the accounts because payment is over the deal is done it's final okay but if someone doesn't pay if someone promises to pay later onwards or we promise to someone that we will pay later onwards right now just give goods to us or you know we are selling to someone and that guy is saying you know uh, i will pay after 30 days or something so we'll have to write their names isn't it to whom we have to pay and from whom we have to receive the money is it clear so whenever purchased goods or sold goods come and along with that names are there you have to understand that those are credit transaction payment is not happening just promises are there okay whenever we sell goods to someone and name is there that means that is a credit transaction and that person is our debtor or receivables okay and when we purchase goods from our supplier and name is mentioned in the transaction that means he is our creditor or payables to whom we have to pay money is that clear okay yes debtor is our asset and creditor is our liability is it clear okay fine so see this transaction on 12 december he sold goods sold goods means sales account is there sales account is an income account nominal account category it has to be credited always credited sales account okay fine understood now what is this arvind arvind we have sold to arvind arvind is our customer and his name is there that means he has not made the payment he has promised us that he will pay later onwards okay so he is our debtor he is our debtor so we will open arvind account now you have to understand who is this arvind account you have to keep this in your mind arvind is your debtor is it clear arvind is your debtor okay fine arvind is a personal account now how will you apply the rule what is happening with arvind arvind has received the goods and he has taken the goods to home isn't it he has taken our goods to home now so he was the receiver so we'll have to debit the arvind account do you understand this do you understand this we credited the sales account that's final so debit would be arvind account why debit would be arvind account because personal account category and debit the receiver he received our goods and he took it to home isn't it so arvind is the receiver of the goods so that's why debit the receiver is it clear so entry will be arvind account debit to sales arvind account debit to sales being sale of goods on credit credit means he has promised to pay later onwards immediate payment is not happening just promises is it clear so arvind account debit to sales account arvind was a personal account he received the goods and he took that to his home and sales you know we have made sales it's our income right nominal account income account we have to credit all incomes 2400 2400 is it clear simple and straightforward fine so we are done with six transactions okay now we have to move on to the next transaction the seventh transaction see here on 14 december he purchased goods from amrit 10000 rupees now see again what's happening purchase goods whenever purchase goods comes you have to remember purchases account is involved purchase account is a nominal account an expense account you have to debit always purchase account will be debited fine understood and then uh, you know amrit account is there yeah he purchased goods from amrit amrit account is there so amrit account also will have to open now who is this amrit person amrit is our supplier from whom we have purchased on credit yeah name is mentioned that means we have to assume it is a credit transaction that is why his name is coming okay so we have to pay to amrit 10000 rupees in future okay so amrit is our liability actually okay but now according to the golden rules we see amrit is a personal account yeah isn't it yes so amrit gave us the goods isn't it we purchased the goods from amrit amrit gave us the goods so credit the giver credit the giver amrit is our creditor or you can say payables 
okay credit the giver this rule is applicable amrit falls into personal accounts category is that clear so the entry would be purchase account to amrit see here purchase account to amrit purchase account is always debited okay expense account always debited nominal it falls in nominal account category and then amrit is our creditor okay let me just write it over here he is our creditor so that we can understand later onwards and then this guy uh, the previous entry arvind is our debtor debtor means from the person we have to receive the money we have to receive money from arvind and we have to pay money to amrit we haven't paid have to have to in future i'm saying is it clear okay being goods purchased from amrit okay whatever comes into your mind just write the narration fine easy we understood 10000 10000 next transaction eighth transaction december 15th he returned goods to amrit 500 okay he means owner owner has returned goods to amrit now remember who is amrit amrit is our creditor to whom we have to pay money our supplier we had purchased goods from him on credit right we have to pay to amrit how much 10000 okay now what's happening is we are returning the goods which we purchase back to our supplier amrit of worth 500 okay so how are we going to pass the entry for this of course amrit account is involved okay amrit is a personal account now tell me what has happened with amrit amrit has received the goods back yeah he has received the goods amrit is the receiver in this transaction amrit falls into personal account category and amrit has received the goods how is that so see here owner has returned the goods to amrit so amrit has received the goods amrit is the receiver we have to you know debit the receiver so amrit account will be debited is that clear simple then whenever we purchase something and then return it back it's called as purchase return purchase return is kind of like an income actually it's not an income it's opposite of purchases purchase is an expense purchase return will be opposite of that expense then opposite is income is it clear so purchase account is always debited purchase return is always credited is it clear that's how you have to remember this okay and purchase return actually falls in which category nominal account category and it's opposite to purchases so you can say it is income credit all incomes is it clear simple so the entry would be see here you know amrit account to purchase returns account yeah december 15 amrit account to purchase returns account amrit was personal account amrit received his goods back he was the receiver we debited him and purchase return is opposite of purchases purchase is always debited purchase return is always credited it's it works opposite is it clear 500 500 is that clear simple being uh, you know goods purchase has been returned to amrit okay fine moving on then to the ninth transaction see ninth transaction is on 16th of december he received from arvind owner has received from arvind who is arvind arvind is our debtor let me just write over here okay this is a debtor transaction and then we had creditor transaction okay here also creditor transaction and then on december 16 they are talking about the debtor yeah debtor arvind yeah here amrit amrit and arvind so see here on 16th of december he received from arvind 2300 in full settlement in full settlement what does that mean see we were supposed to receive 2400 from arvind now the question is saying on december 16 we have received 2300 in full settlement what is this full settlement now let me just teach you a concept of discount you know if you have watched my basic videos then you would know but still i am just you know teaching this once again see here there are two types of discounts you know in accounting one is the trade discount and another is the cash discount first let's talk about trade discount trade discount is a discount that you normally get if you go into any supermarket to buy flour or rice or something you will find mrp let's just say 1000 rupees then that would be cut off and then there will be 900 rupees right so when you go to the counter you have to just pay 900 right so that's called trade discount from 1000 mrp 100 is deducted 900 you have to pay right and that is what is you know 
uh, if you're purchasing that uh, rice or whatever for your office for your employees or something then that is what you will record you have purchased the rice for 900 isn't it yeah it is it will be recorded at 900 separately you will not say that 100 discount i received no it's not it's not a discount it's just a normal reduction which everyone are getting yeah even if you go to any wholesaler you buy in bulk quantity then you will get some reduction in prices and you know that's a normal discount which everyone gets so it is not recorded in account separately it is just deducted okay trade discount it's called fine and mostly it happens because of bulk purchases right it's a normal discount which is not recorded and you get this immediately when you get the invoice on the invoice you will have a price after deducting the trade discount okay 900 invoice you will get at the counter yeah in that rice example now let's talk about what happens in cash discount see in cash discount see you bought let's just say some things okay and the bill was 10,000 rupees invoice bill was 10,000 after normal discounts and everything yeah uh, 10,000 was the bill so you went home then you get a call from your supplier he's saying see pay me right now okay let's just say two days have happened so he's saying just pay me right now and i will forego your 500 rupees you don't have to pay me 10,000 you just pay me 9,500 rupees and it's over so you see invoice was of 10,000 but but the supplier is saying just pay me 9,500 yeah I'm talking about a credit transaction okay you didn't pay the money you promised to pay later onwards you went home you were supposed to pay him 10,000 after 30 days the supplier is calling you and telling you just make an early payment and get 500 rupees discount so if you make the payment then understand you are the buyer you have got discount of 500 rupees you only paid 9,500 500 rupees is your discount received right you have received the discount and for supplier the same is discount allowed isn't it so this would be an expense for the supplier yeah but for you you are the buyer so this will be an income for you discount receive will be an income for you you had to pay less right it's a benefit for you and here it's an expense seller is losing the money you are you know not losing the money kind of like it's your gain right so seller will record this as an expense and you will record this as an income in your accounting books is that clear do you understand the concept of discounts now trade discount is not recorded it's just deducted okay but cash discount you don't get this immediately you get this after some time for making an early payment okay there are two point of views from the seller it's discount allowed from the buyer it is discount received okay discount allowed is an expense discount received is an income is that clear so this was the concept of discounts fine so now here in our transaction number nine yeah, on 16th of December, what happened? Owner received from Arwin 2,300 rupees in full settlement. Okay, full settlement means, see here, 2,400 we were supposed to receive. But owner said to Arwin, see Arwin, just pay me 2,300 and your account is finished. Okay, full settlement. You don't have to pay me anything. Just pay 2,300 and it's over. I will forego your 100 rupees, isn't it? 2400 minus 2300 is 100 rupees difference so 100 rupees is foregone okay is that clear so 100 rupees discount is being given to arvind yeah business we are giving to arvind so here three accounts are involved you have to understand this one is arvind account which is completely you know over and then you know discount allowed is there discount allowed is there. we are giving the discount yeah we are giving the discount now nah? it's our expense and then there is you know bank account involved we are receiving the money also right so see here see here three accounts are involved over here this is a compound entry we call this okay see the entry over here <clears throat> bank account debit discount account debit to arvind account now see bank account is a personal account bank is the receiver now money has been received in the bank account so debit the receiver bank account will be debited arvind what has happened with arvind Arvind is a personal account. He has given the money. He is the giver, right? So we'll credit the giver, 2400. Is it clear? But I wanted to explain you his account has been cancelled. Previously it was debited by 2400. Now it is credited by 2400. His account is fully settled. Okay? There is no more balance in Arvind account. We don't have to receive any money from Arvind account. Is it clear? Now, discount account. Now, what is the discount? This is discount allowed account. Okay? Discount allowed account now discount allowed account so why are we debiting this discount allowed means we have given the discount if we give the discount then we are losing the money it's an expense for us 
so we'll have to what we'll have to debit the expense expense falls in which category expense falls in nominal account category so debit all expenses and losses is it clear simple you understood this okay and we receive only 2300 now so 2300 we have debited so this is called as the compound entry where we have two debits and one credit is it clear simple moving on then to the next transaction see here on 18th of december owner withdrew goods for personal use you see personal use means you have to take drawings over here okay drawings concept will come whenever personal use word comes you have to use drawings account okay so let's understand what is happening over here with you goods goods means purchase account is also there okay now see here there are two accounts involved over here okay purchase account and drawings account right drawings account will be debited why drawings account will be debited understand this what has owner done owner has taken the goods out so owner has received the goods yeah drawings account is a personal account it represents the owner so owner is the receiver over here you have to understand this owner has received the goods so we have to debit the receiver is that clear so drawings account will be debited and then purchases account is also there yeah withdrew goods goods are there so purchase account is there okay you have to remember this why purchase account is there because goods are coming okay whenever the goods comes you have to understand purchase account is involved so purchase account will be credited why it will be credited i always told you purchase account will always be debited why credited because we purchase the goods to sell them but right now owner is taking them out to his home right so we have to reverse the purchase account is that clear whatever value is there in the purchase account will have to reverse that so that's why we have to you know uh, credit the purchase account is it clear yeah and you can think like this see purchase account is an expense account yeah it's an ex expense account so now what's happening it's no more an expense yeah reverse is happening so we have to credit the purchase account it's kind of like an income now yeah so we have to reverse the purchase account to reverse we'll have to credit the purchase account so the entry will be like this see here drawings account to purchase account okay drawings is a personal account it represents the owner owner has received the goods debit the receiver so we debit it we can't debit the owner we have to use drawings account always to represent the owner in this case yeah drawings account or capital account we can't take capital we have to take drawings account only and then purchase account is credited because you have to reverse the purchases we haven't sold the goods yeah they were meant for resale but owner has taken them out so now we have to reverse the purchase account by that amount by that cost price okay thousand thousand is it clear simple so that was the 10th transaction next we have 11th transaction see here on 20th december he withdrew cash from business for personal use again personal use personal use means drawings okay we have to think like this always drawings and drawings are always debited okay for all these transaction drawings is always debited why is that so see owner is taking the cash right from the business for personal use so owner has received the cash owner is the receiver owner is the receiver yeah personal account rule debit the receiver so drawings account will be debited okay drawings account will be debited fine what's the another account he withdrew cash from business not from bank account from business so cash account is involved from the drawer he has taken the money right so cash account is involved and cash is an asset it's a real account yeah debit what comes in credit what goes out so here what's happening cash is going out so credit what goes out so you'll have to credit the cash account is it clear see here drawings account debit to cash account okay being cash withdrawal from business for personal use here also just write just write being and then whatever comes to your mind fine is it clear personal real account 2000 2000 fine next transaction 12 transaction see here on 24th of december he paid telephone charges 110 this is very simple yeah paid means you know a uh, bank account is involved okay they are not saying specifically cash so we are assuming it's bank okay so bank account is involved bank account is a personal account we are paying through the bank let's just say okay so it's that's if that's the case then you know uh, bank is the giver so we'll have to credit the bank account and telephone charges is what is an expense telephone charges account you will open okay telephone charges is a nominal account so what do you do with all the expenses you debit all the expenses so you will debit the telephone charges is it clear simple so see here telephone expenses or telephone charges account to bank account is that clear yeah nominal account and personal account nominal account means 
expense account in this case and you will debit all expenses bank account personal account from bank you gave the money bank is the giver yeah personal account rule so credit the giver fine okay simple now this is also over then we have the next transaction which is see here 13 transaction 26 december amount paid to amrit in full settlement 9450 you see again full settlement if there is a word of full settlement then you have to understand it is discount always discount will be involved either discount allowed will be there or discount received will be there now amrit they are talking about who is amrit amrit is our creditor isn't it amrit is our creditor yeah what did we do with amrit see here first we purchased goods from amrit worth 10000 and then we returned uh, goods worth 500 right so 9500 money we have to pay to amrit okay we have to pay we haven't paid we have to pay right but here they are saying we have paid to amrit only 9450 yeah 50 rupees less we have paid 50 rupees less we have paid and that's full settlement that means we have gained by 50 rupees we didn't pay 50 rupees yeah 50 rupees was forgiven for us okay Amrit called us and told us, see, uh, Mr. Ajit, just pay me right now 9450 and your account is settled. You don't have to pay me 50 rupees. So we immediately made the payment. That was the st full story over here. Okay, on, you know, 26th of December. So how will we pass the journal entry? It's really simple. Let me show you how you will pass the journal entry. What you're going to do, you are going to do this. See here, Amrit account debit to bank account to discount allowed account to discount allowed account sorry not discount allowed it's discount received my bad we have received the discount okay so see here how how are we going to apply the rules how are we going to pass this entry see amrit is a personal account right amrit account is involved of course now amrit has received our money isn't it so amrit is the receiver we debit the receiver okay that's the personal account rule isn't it? We paid money to Amrit, no? So Amrit received the money. Amrit is the receiver, right? So debit the receiver. We have debited 9,500. Full settlement, right? So we have debited the full amount. Not 10,000. 500 goods we have returned. So that's over. Only 9,500 we have to pay, right? So 9,500 we will debit because we have to make full settlement. And then how much did we pay through bank account? We paid only 9,450, okay? So how you will credit the bank account? We gave the money through the bank account. Bank account was the giver. Yeah, credit the giver. So bank account will be credited. Personal account rule. And then discount received. What is this discount received? Discount received, you know, it's an income, right? Discount received is an income. Yeah, in this case, Amrit is the seller and we are the buyer because Amrit is our supplier. Yeah, we purchase goods from Amrit. We have to make the payment and we paid less we got the discount we received the discount so that's our income we'll have to credit it yeah income is always credited according to the nominal account rule is that clear discount received account will be credited is that clear did you understand the logic of this entry simple okay so this is how you will pass this entry and then the next transaction let's see on 31st december paid for stationery 200 rent 5000 and salaries to staff 2000 from bank you see this is also a compound entry i told you how many transactions are happening over here stationary transaction rent transaction salary transaction all together okay on just you know one day and same nature is there all our expenses yeah we are you know incurring expenses we are paying the expenses right so you know we are clubbing all of this together we have to pass just one entry with all these together okay compound entry this is also compound entry so how you will do this it's really simple what do you do with all the expenses you debit all the expenses so there is stationary expense rent expense salary expense all of them will have to be debited stationary account debit rent account debit salary account debit okay all are nominal account yeah debit all expenses and losses 200 5000 2000 clear and then you will credit the bank account yeah you are paying the money right through the bank isn't it personal account rule from bank the money is paid so bank is the giver bank is giving the money right yeah 7200 is it clear just add it all up it's equal to 7200 fine easy and then 
the next transaction and the last transaction of our question that is on 31st December goods distributed by way of free samples now understand here what will happen tell me see <clears throat> samples are given so samples account will come over here okay giving sample is kind of like an advertisement do you agree yes so samples account is an expense account it will fall under nominal account category okay so samples account will be debited is that clear simple and straightforward same like advertisement or telephone expense yeah salary paid wages paid rent paid yeah it's an expense simple expense nominal account debit all expenses you will debit the samples account free samples and then what will be the credit credit will be the purchases account because understand what are you giving you are giving goods right as samples so that your sales can increase it's a promotional thing so goods which were meant for resale you are giving it away for free so that means what you have to do whatever you purchase you have to reduce that isn't it you debited purchase account when you purchased goods now you will have to credit and make purchases reverse okay is that clear you have to reverse the purchases so you will credit the purchases account is that clear that's the thinking over here is it clear see here yeah you can take advertisement account as well as samples account okay it doesn't matter both the things here they are taking advertisement account you can also take samples account okay so advertisement expenses account nominal account expense okay debit that and then purchase account purchase account we are crediting 2000 2000 now when goods are given out for free yeah so goods are going out of our business so they say in that case you know we can see this as inventory yeah so that's why they think it's kind of like a real account yeah it is a real account all assets are real account and the goods which we purchase it's actually inventory it's goods right stock stock is an asset and it's real account but first we always treat the goods as an expense if you're using purchases account okay purchase account is an expense but the stock is not an expense stock is an asset okay don't worry we'll have a separate video on that about the you know the treatment that there are two treatments on which we can uh you know treat the purchases fine one is directly using the inventory account or purchases account fine so you understood we are reversing the purchases the goods which were meant for resale are being given away for free so that means we'll have to reverse the purchases how will you reverse the purchases purchase is always debited so if the goods are going out that means it's opposite so we'll have to credit that's how you have to do it okay 2000 2000 is it clear but here they are saying it's real account and they are saying goods are going out so credit what goes out okay that's the thinking they have used fine so this was the last transaction okay i hope you have understood it was really simple and straightforward it was not difficult if you have any doubts in this then please you know comment down below or you can also message me on instagram okay see here yeah this is the transaction right okay so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye